This is Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell on the Forge Audio Network. Forge fans, welcome back to another episode. We've reached another Friday, so today is the last episode of Forge Daily this week. Today is July 14th, 2023. I'm your host, Mackenzie Barwell, here to give you all things Forge FC. Another coaches clinic today is happening. I got a chance to chat with a few coaches in attendance to hear what it was like from their perspective. But before we get to that, let's talk about what we might expect to see from the matchup between Forge and Valor tomorrow night. The last time these two teams met up, Valor was able to come away with the 2-0 result. They currently sit 7th in the league with 3 wins, 6 draws, and 5 losses. That said, the standings are very tight, as I mentioned yesterday, so it'll only take 2 or 3 wins in a row for them to climb the leaderboard. They are just 4 points out from a playoff spot and 7 back from 2nd place heading into tomorrow's match. Valor's goalkeeper, Yesley, has been outstanding and arguably kept them in the game their last Forge matchup. He currently leads the league in CPL saves with 48 and five clean sheets. In a conversation yesterday he had with a CPL reporter, he mentioned that the confidence of the team is still there, so they've got plenty of motivation heading into the second half of the season. Valor currently has the least goals conceded, but also the least goals scored. Something else worth mentioning, Valor fullback Jordan Haynes and center back Abdus Make are back in full health, so we are likely to see them in the lineup tomorrow. In the press conference today, Coach Bobby and Ali Hajabrapur talked about the challenges that they might anticipate from Valor and what they see being the key factors in determining the outcome of tomorrow's game. Yeah, they're a team that uh, when they play us, they, uh, they bring their, uh, their best, uh, and I mean that both uh, on the ball and off the ball. Um, a little strange sometimes in some of their other games, maybe not showing as as much of the energy. But uh, of course, when they're playing us, I think uh, they're always uh, uh, a very good team. You know, they bring a good defensive structure to what they do. I think their coach does a great job with them getting them organized tactically um, for games. And I and I expect the same thing uh, tomorrow. You know, they're they can be very good on the ball. They can be very good and compact. Uh, compact. And you know, they're a team that uh, mixes things up with uh, direct play possession, so they can uh, change things up uh, within a game. So I think that's what we'll see a, a lot of uh, tomorrow. Most important for us is that we're good, we're quick, we're good on the ball. Um, we're able to di- dictate the tempo and most importantly, be able to uh, be forceful in front of the opponent's goal. Uh, they're a good, hardworking team. They got a lot of young guys now and they got a, got a coach that makes them buy into a system. They're all very tactical adept and they have good quality as well. They have good individual players that can change the game and they they give us a hard game. I know whenever they come to play us here or when we play them there, they have belief that they can get a result. And so with that belief, they kind of show that extra little bit of fight, a little bit of desire. And yeah, in the last couple of years, they have done done pretty well. I'd say away from home, the, the pitch is not in the best shape. And I think that can kind of go against us. But they just come with a lot of desire. They're ready to play this game for sure. Yeah, personally, I feel pretty good. The injuries kind of gone away to be honest uh that my work iced it a bit took my time off it was a long time off but <clears throat> when you're when you're off for so long you kind of think about the game from the outside you kind of see the team from the outside and you also think about how how lucky you are to be a professional footballer you know when you're out for so long you kind of notice wow this is a big part of my life getting taken away so when you come back onto the field you're really excited just like last week the energy I think the energy we brought to the game, we knew it was obviously a big game, but every game now is a big game for us. So as long as we bring the proper energy, both on the ball and off the ball, the right mentality will be be fine. We'll put in a good performance. As I mentioned earlier, another coaches clinic was held at Tim Hortons Field today, and it will continue into tomorrow. They had a full day ahead of them, including training this morning and some presentations later on. I spoke to two of the coaches about their experience, and they mentioned how important it was for them to have opportunities like this to learn from professionals like Coach Bobby and the rest of the Forge FC coaching staff. My name is Cormac Cleary. I coach and work at Oakville Soccer Club. Um, for me, I work in the grassroots side, but I also work with the 19s uh, to be able to come into a professional environment, see how, you know, how it's done at the top, um, and be able to sort of relay some messaging back to players that are striving to get into this environment. Yeah. I think it's a fantastic, it was a fantastic opportunity. Cool. Can you point out anything in particular that you feel like is unique in terms of Bobby's coaching style? I think as a head coach, to see him 
you know, spe specifically coming in in the morning, mm -hmm. we were here early and to see the head coach come out and sort of readjust things. And he has a presence right from, you know, it's not letting his assistants run it. It's not having, you know, his assistants also set up. He's on field moving mannequins. He's involved in every little Single detail yeah. of it, which I think is very impressive. And, and I think shows like a fantastic leadership. And if you're a player, and my thoughts would be like, hey, the gaffer, he's, he's, He's in the trenches with us. He's involved in every detail. Um, you know, he supports his coaching staff uh, in every detail and the players. I think it's it's fantastic. Uh, hi, I'm Maxime Oliveri from CSMRO from Quebec. And uh, we are really glad uh, with our technical staff to come here in Forge. That's part of partnership to learn about uh, the high performance approach with uh, Coach Bobby, Coach Kit, Yuan. And that's amazing to spend the, to see the training session before the game, to see the game realistically and the approach about the tactical aspect and uh, mental preparation also for the players. So yeah, we will look forward to, to push ourselves a little bit more in the, in the training for, for the juvenile part. And lastly, yesterday I talked about my co-host, Alessandro, who will be at tomorrow's match. I asked him and his dad to send me a video of him introducing himself to the Forge Daily listeners. So listen to this. Hi, Hey, everybody. My name is Alessandro Profeto, and I love the Hamilton Forge. Yeah, trust me, it is not something that you're going to want to miss. If you are here at Tim Hortons Field tomorrow, we're partnering with TELUS, and you could have a chance to win an Apple Watch and some Forge merch if you bring new or gently used soccer equipment. The donation station will be set up outside of gate one on match day. I hope to see you there. Thank you so much for listening. This has been Forge Daily with Mackenzie Barwell. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share. 